Welcome to Speakers Info Session. Uh, my name is Gloria Song. I'm the chair of OD Network Summit 2024 and excited to welcome you here to share more about the Speakers Info Session today. So with me today, I have call for proposal lead Jessica uh, and Shia. So Jessica, over to you to introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Jessica Bros, and I am the call for proposal lead. Excited to be here. I joined the last year and attended the 23 summit. Sharing information about the excellent proposals. Jessica, you're breaking up a little bit as oh. you speak. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here, let me adjust my paper. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that better? We can hear you. Oh, better. Oh, so um, my name is Jessica Burrows, and um, I am a clinical rehabilitation manager, and I work at the Cleveland Clinic. Can you hear me? Okay. Yep. Okay. And let me just move this over. Um, I'm a physical therapist, but I also am an ODN um, network member, and I am honored to be a part of this process as um the Summit Experience Call for Proposal Lead. And today we're going to be guiding you through the proposal process and what that entails. Set you all up for success. Thank you, Jessica. Shea. Hi, my name is Shea Sawyer, and I work with uh, Ewald Consulting, which is the managing firm who works with OD Network here. Um, I'm super excited to be working with such an amazing group of people. This is my first summit, and I'm very excited to be a part of planning it. Thank you both. So with that, uh, what we are going to cover in this presentation today, first of all, kind of sharing more with you in terms of what this 2024 summit entails and what does our structure look like. And then we are going to go over COFO proposal process and how you can prepare effectively your COFO proposal submission. And we are going to open up for the Q&A. So with that, let me start, walk you through what's the uh, summit overview and purpose would look like. So the summit's entire theme, as you have seen from the email, is leading organization development uh, in the age of artificial intelligence. And our subtitle is Charting New Horizon. I think everyone here in this room will agree that we are, um, embarking different era of disruption with the generative technologies that are coming in pipe. And that's impacting not only uh, how we work, it also impacts how we live and how we engage and how we connect as a community organization and humanity. So knowing that this is a really another exciting yet uncertain disruptions and changes that we are going through as a whole global community, the intention for this year's summit is to really think about how do we lead organization development into the next stage of uh, support so that we can elevate humanity through the work that we do um, in this day and age of artificial intelligence. So that was kind of the purpose and intention for this entire summit. And it's going to happen in Case Western Reserve University uh, in October 16 to 19. So if you can bookmark this uh, date and make sure that you follow up the registration, uh, it will be lovely to see all of you in that summit as well. So with that large uh, theme and also purpose behind, uh, let me give you some structure example of how we are planning this entire design of the summit. So this year, uh, compared to two last years that we have done standalone conference, standalone summit, we are creating a structure of hybriding conference and summit model this year. So, um, and that's the intention to actually elevate and advance our science and practice of OD, uh, getting wisdom and insights from the plenary stage stages uh, that we are going to host for COFO proposal as well as creating immersive learning experiences for people to come, come to create uh, different aspects of impact as they work together through the tracks. So if you see on the right side of this um, presentation, you will see there is 
plenary stage speakers that is going to happen in October 17 and 18. That's going to mark up the morning stage. And then um, afterwards, there is going to be three concurrent tracks uh, that are running depending on our three subtopics of the theme that is going to be run um, as, as a part of this entire summit. And in terms of the COFO proposal, we are looking for plenary speakers submission for the AM portion of October 17 and 18. And depending on the number and how many stages that we are creating, we are looking at from eight to 16 different proposals in total uh, to have a submission and selection process. So with that in mind, um, we are right now accepting pro call for proposal for this three subtopics. Uh, we created this three subtopics depending on and also based on where the community and organization, where, where are the biggest impact that we can create as um, OD practitioners and community. And it starts with organization design. As everyone knows, with the emergence of artificial intelligence and the start of the implementation of AI, it is impacting how the job is um, being worked on in the organization. Uh, it is bringing up rescaling opportunity. It does impact the processes. It does impact how people collaborate, engage, that has an impacting culture. So basically, it is fundamentally shifting every aspect of how organizations run, which uh, becomes a critical point to bring really human-centered organization design practices. So the first sub-theme that we are going to looking at uh, in terms of our inquiry is really how might we elevate humanity through human-centered organization design practices so that we can strengthen the organization and create a sustainable momentum of change for them as they navigate this uncertain uh, and also disruptive time with the new technological uh, evolution that we are living in. The second portion of our sub theme is socially and ethically responsible artificial intelligence. The intention of it is in any change process or transformation that we are leading as an OD practitioners or scholars in any spaces that we are supporting organization for, it's going to be really difficult for us to divorce the impact of AI in any of the conversations and work that we are going to do. So equipping us ourselves to cultivate the capacity to really think about how to reduce biases, create more inclusions and equitable ways of navigating this technology and how to incorporate it into the practice of OD as well as leading change and transformation is going to be such an important aspect of cultivating and also improving our practices in OD. Uh, so we are bringing this topic as second theme. And the third theme is about community and transformation, where we are going to really think about given the age of major technological advancement, it also comes with levels of um, individualism, connection, connection, disconnect, disconnection, silos and isolation, and how might we use our OD principles, values, and technologies that we are incorporating to create a meaningful connection and build a thriving community that can transform uh, as a sustainable and thriving community. Uh, and that's going to be the third focus of the topic today. So your call for proposal can address um, any one sub themes of this three key sub themes that we are going to have as uh, three key topics and honing on to uh, developing more case study or stories about how you have navigated this success or lesson learned from your failures. Uh, those are some of the things that we are going to really um, hoping to get as a part of COFO proposal. So with that in mind, I'm going to hand over to Jessica to share a little bit more about the COFO proposal process. Thank you, Gloria. The COFO proposal process is going to be, um, the application is due by Friday, March 29th at 11.59 p.m. And that link will be active on the website. Speakers will be notified on Monday, April 29th, that evening, 11.59 p.m. Structure of the content is 20 minutes presentation with a five minutes question and answer following. The type of information you can, the type of platform you can choose is a scholarly research. 
case studies, informative presentation, or roundtable. There are three key criteria we're looking at this year. Relevance to the theme and the topic of the summit. Here, practical learning application for participants, innovation, and originality. These are the criteria that the reviewers will be looking at for the abstracts, and the reviews will be done one month. There's tips to remember. So just, and when you're preparing for your abstract, your proposals, think about clear and specific learning objectives. And we ask that the bios of the speakers are written in full sentences and that you remember to write the complete proposal. So what makes a great proposal? You want it to be descriptive and an engaging abstract and a, have a plan of engagement for the audience. It's really one of the key components is that you are working with the audience and help them to not only learn the content, but actually start to be more um, inspired by the work that's being discussed. The evaluation tool there are different areas, and it is on a five point Likert scale, one being strongly disagreed to five strongly agreed. The different sections are relevance, clarity, practicality, innovation, and originality. Relevance is looking at, is your topic in line with the chosen summit tracks that we discussed earlier? And does the topic have a meaning to the members in the OD adjacent? The clarity is about your, you know, what purpose and your learning objectives. Are these clearly stated for the audience members to understand? And is there a clear presentation or structure or roadmap at the beginning for the audience to understand the journey they're about to take with you during the presentation. Practicality. So is learning from the presentation practical to apply to the participants practice? So can they use this throughout their own personal professional lives? Innovation and originality. Does the presentation elevate new concepts, practices, and inspiration to advance the practice of OD? You really want to work on leaving people feeling touched, moved, and inspired when they're done hearing your words. So any questions for us so far? And if you have questions, um, we, are, we do have an email that's going to be posted in the chat that you can send your questions to. Jay, did you wanna, you could kindly do that. Yes. No question, okay, great. Thank you, Dr. Kyle. If there is no question, we welcome to uh, review your proposal and thank you for your commitment to advance uh, practice and science of OD. Um, I know that COFO proposal takes a lot of thoughtful process to pull it together. And we promise that we are going to honor your intention of that proposal submission and do our best work to um, see and select, you know, the relevant and innovative um, work that you're pulling together. So we're excited to review your proposal and thank you for being part of the summit process.